Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to do a little bit of an experiment, test, wear test, whatever, of a sort of cult product. Now a couple of weeks ago I did ask for some recommendations um, from you guys, so like what products you think I'll like. And um, the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base popped up and so did their new mascara. And I saw this pack and it was on sale and I thought I'm gonna buy it. I don't have a lipstick shade, it makes everything cheaper. Um, and then I got it for the 20% off at Maya, so it worked out fantastic. So in Australia, the lip primer alone cost $35, but I managed to get these full size products, so the new mascara, the MAC Stack Mascara, a Retro Matte Lipstick. These are all, it was, I think it was $56 I got it for. Um, there were actually three colors of packs. I picked the pink one because I had the shades in the nude and the red. So this is a new shade for me, which I'm excited about. It's a shade uh, Relentlessly Red, which has been one that I've been interested in for a while. So it was a great pack. Now, the reason I was mainly interested in this, not only was it recommended to me, and I'm gonna mention it in that video coming up, um, but I thought before I do that, I should actually test it out. And also this has really good reviews online. A lot of people love it um, and the claims sound pretty good. I have to say the Mac website, the claims aren't as great as other websites, which is strange. So Mac says that it's a color-free base to wear under lipstick. It adds light moisture, smooths and refines lips and improves the appearance of applied lip products. Whereas the Mecca website, which is also an official stockist, says that this is an anti-feather wonder. This pre-lipstick primer coats the lips in a veil of lightweight moisture, smooths uneven texture and refines the lip contour. The result, a perfectly prepped pout that locks down lip color to prevent feathering. So I'm more interested in that claim, which Mac doesn't actually have, but clearly they approved it for the other website. So, you know, we'll see. All right. I've had no product on my lips at all. Nothing's touched my lips except for a coffee this morning. So uh, let's put this on. Um, it is a nice twist up product. Oh, no, it's a, no, it's a twist up, twist up and twist down. I thought it was maybe a click up product, which means that you can't retract it, but it's not, it's fine. So let's just put it on. It is nice and thin. It doesn't feel like a traditional lip balm or a lip gloss. It's really, really thin. You can barely, like there's a bit more hydration to the lips. It's got a nice vanilla scent, which is like the MAC lipstick scent. And it's very, very thin. It definitely feels hydrating. And if you press your lips together, you can feel the moisture, but it's so thin. This would be a nice lip balm for someone that doesn't like the look of lip balm or lip gloss. So they get the hydration but without the high shine, without the heavy feel. It's just like a really beautiful natural lip balm. I don't think you get much in it though, so I probably wouldn't recommend this as a lip balm unless you've got heaps of cash to splash, but there we go, looks beautiful, feels nice. All right, let's put this lipstick on. I love a nice fresh MAC lipstick, look at it. Beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna apply it on this side first so I don't get any um, cross contamination. All right, this color's gorgeous. Retro matte are a little bit tuggy, but they are very nice. Applied fine. Look, it's a nice lipstick. Love the color. Now let's put on this one. Okay, you can see that it definitely doesn't grip as much, so the pigment isn't as instant. You can build it up to get there. See how it just glides over the moisture? So even though I did apply a little bit sheerly on just one swipe, it does build up to get the full opacity of what it's like just on normal lips. And we're gonna see how long this wears. So I've put this on at about quarter to 10 and um, I'll let you know how it wears throughout the day, how it eats through food, and if I see a noticeable difference between the two sides. Since this does have like anti-feathering claims, maybe we'll see a more dramatic difference if I was wearing a really glossy lip. But since the pack came with this, I thought this is the perfect one to try and it's nice and vibrant so we can definitely see how it wears down uh, it should be pretty noticeable. All right, so it's been um, about two hours, but I do have an update with my lip product that I want to mention. So this does look like it's wearing really nicely. Um, these retro matte lipsticks do wear well on me anyway, but I have noticed some, like how it's wearing down. It's slightly wearing differently. 
Uh, I have only really had a coffee. I'm about to have a snack, so I thought I'd check in before anything changes too much, but I'll zoom in to show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm hoping you can see what I'm referring to, but I've noticed that this is starting to look a bit dry and textured, whereas this is fading down a lot more evenly. It looks a little bit more hydrating. So I don't know if you can see, so a bit drier. All right, we're at the four and a half-ish hour mark for the lip product and I've got some interesting results. I'll zoom in so you can see, hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. I'm not sure if it's as obvious to you as it is to me in person, but the side without the primer is actually lasting a lot better. I have had lunch, I have had a snack, I have had drinks and this is wearing off more than this one. In terms of feel, it definitely feels a little bit drier on this side, but not a lot. Like to be fair, I don't have dry lips, I have fairly normal lips, and it just, like, there's a little bit more hydration there, but it's nothing to write home about at this point. I can see the writing on the wall. I feel like I know where this is going to go, but I'll still keep testing it out. I'm feeling like I might need to come back and test this with a more glossy, um, like, lacquer finish lipstick to see if that makes any difference because right now I'm not, besides the fact it feels nice, it's a nice thin lip balm. I, I don't actually think it makes lip products wear that great. All right, it is nearly 5.20, so not quite eight hours of wear. Look, I'm just gonna straight up say, hopefully you can see what I'm seeing, but I'm gonna give props to this lipstick because no touch-ups through food, through drinking, through just everyday stuff. And this lipstick is looking really nice. Like if eight hours wear, I would not be complaining. Um, I am sort of complaining about this though. Can you see the difference in wear? I will zoom in, but you can, hopefully you can see that it's worn off a lot more um, on the primed side, which is the opposite of what I was hoping for. Also, I'm feeling like even though this is supposed to be like anti-feathering, which I don't really get feathering around my mouth, but can you see that the lip line is sharper and stayed more intact on the unprimed side, whereas it's totally faded off the primed side? I'm very confused. Here's a zoom in just to make it a little bit clearer, but you can see it's worn off on the inner part, like the inner corners on both sides, but it is significantly more worn off here and hopefully you can see, look, it looks a little bit dry, but it's dry on both sides. I don't, I think the moisture has completely worn off and the moisturizing effects of the primer is no longer there. So they feel the same. Um, if anything, there's parts of it that I think feels drier because the parts that are totally exposed, um, the skin's feeling a bit drier. The parts that have the lipstick on, even though it's a matte lipstick, are feeling like there's something there to keep it like moisturized slightly. So. If I had to conclude this here, I would say this primer is not worth it for me. Um, but I know that if I did that, I'd cop a lot of flack um, because I only tried it with one lipstick. So uh, I'm going to try it over the next few days with different types of lipsticks. Um, I might try to make it like three lipsticks in total, four lipsticks in total. I won't do as detailed check-ins. I'll just try to make them really quick. Um, but let's see if this is an anomaly. And hopefully the primer works well with other lip products. Otherwise, it's I don't understand the hype. All right, it is trial number two. I'm just about to head to my mum's house. Uh, so I thought I'd put a very glossy, I've got a very sick, sleepy kid. Um, I thought I'll put a very glossy, dark lip on so we can see how it's wearing over the primer. This side is primed, this side is not primed. So I've got the primer and I've got my, this is a Lorac, um, highly pigmented satin lipstick in a prom queen um i should see a difference with this and this is a lot more glossy as you can tell look at this kid in the back it's very sleepy and very unwell um so yeah it's a lot more glossy as you can tell so hopefully if this primer works better with glossier lipsticks we will see it here you can already tell that the prime side isn't as pigmented and I did this was one layer similar to the matte lipstick yesterday and then when I put a second layer on it was very very sheer and I had to like put it on like three layers and still I feel like it's not as 
dark and as bold as the unprimed side so yeah, we'll see um i've got a bit of a drive ahead of me it's about an hour and a half drive so i've got snacks i've got i've got an iced coffee so probably before i get to my mum's house i will check in and tell you how it's what it looks like after an hour and a half wear with snacks all right quick update look and that's doing something weird but i feel like overall that's worn off more but this is worn off a little bit more unevenly so more pigment on the outside less there and this is just overall worn off i don't know i don't think it's i feel like it's very similar all right car test number two um i'm about to head home so i thought i'll apply this product and also a liquid lipstick from ofra or ofra this is in the shade Atlant atlantic city and um it's a matte liquid lipstick so we'll see look i'm really i'm really trying yesterday uh, after i did my last check-in um pretty much the lipstick wore down evenly like both sides it was no difference um so i sort of feel like on a glossy lip this is possibly worse because the color doesn't really adhere to the lips super well i found that it just looked better and it was more bold on the non-prime side but i'm hoping that this will add a little bit of hydration and comfort to a matte liquid lipstick so i don't have to apply this one-handed because i have holding my phone and I need to do this in my camera viewfinder. I still like this as a lip balm. I just think it's quite expensive for a lip balm. Oh shit. Apparently putting liquid lipstick on with one hand in a car is disastrous. Look what I did to my rear view mirror. So this is the thing that goes down. I have got lipstick all over it. I'm very upset myself. All right, I gotta get closer because I'm using this as my mirror and I'm doing the non-prime side first. There we go, dip again, try to get the same amount of product. All right, so it looks like maybe it looks a little bit more hydrated compared to this side, which you would expect because there is it looks juicier um but it's the first lipstick that i've applied over this primer that doesn't look sheerer and how it doesn't have to be built up so i feel like both sides are quite nicely pigmented i can definitely feel more grip on this side from moisture so uh, i think it makes liquid lipsticks more comfortable so far but time will tell all right this has been on for I want to say what is it like seven hours now so it's been a while when i got home there wasn't much of a difference between the two sides so i didn't bother filming anything um and then what i did notice a few hours later was that on the non-prime side um similar to when i used that matte lipstick it's starting to wear off a little bit more obviously and then this side was fading off a little bit more gradually yeah so this is sort of fading down more overall but it is fading down a little bit more naturally and that's sort of keeping its red color but fading down a little bit more abruptly in certain areas but when you this cat uh when you step back it looks fine like both sides look good um one doesn't feel more hydrated than the other they actually surprisingly feel the same i thought this was going to feel a lot more moisturized but it doesn't i think the matte finish is just making them Let's just go behind the couch um making them both quite matte all right i'm just in my toilet so um hopefully you can see what i'm talking about there's that abrupt sort of wearing down this one's a bit more natural but i think overall this side is looking a little bit lighter than that side but if you do just look straight on just, is it worth the priming i i, I don't know i don't think so all right, take four on trying to make this work. Um, I am going to apply it with a lip gloss. This is a fairly pigmented lip gloss. Um, the only things I'm thinking that I haven't really tried is a really glossy liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. Um, tried a matte lipstick, tried a really shiny sort of lipstick. So it's gonna work on something, right? Let's try this again. Nice feeling balm. But so far that's all it is um, i got a pat mcgrath lip gloss in flesh fantasy i've also got like a hormonal cluster of 
breakouts there, which is really glamorous. Let's try to avoid that. Nice lip gloss. I don't think a lip gloss needs a primer, but let's see if it does. All right, they applied the same. There was no need to build up. I don't think it looks sheerer on the prime side. It's very glossy. Um, this type of very, very shiny lip gloss does not need extra hydration. So it doesn't feel any different either side. So we'll see how it wears down. If there is, look, I'm gonna predict my prediction with this, no difference because it's so glossy. I feel like it's gonna wear down at the same rate. All right, so I've set up the good camera, um, which means I am concluding this review. As you can see, it's been after lunch. The lip gloss is worn down in an identical fashion on either side. Um, and I don't really feel like there's any need to go for a glossy liquid lipstick because I feel like the results are going to be very, very similar to the Lorac glossy bullet lipstick. Um, and I just... I've made up my mind. I've figured out what I think about this. So if I wanted to put my blinkers on and be really narrow-minded, I'd say this doesn't work. It's a scam. It's a sham. It's blah, 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 blah. That's not the case. I just don't think it's suitable for me. And the reason why I have never sought out a lip primer before is because lip products work really well on me. It is what it is. Um, I don't have fine lines that lipstick sort of bleeds into and creates that feathered look. Um, I never reach for a lip liner because like, okay, lipsticks can smear and transfer, but even if you put a lip liner, lipstick can smear and transfer over the lip liner. It's more about being careful when you're using really sort of glossy high shine lipsticks and you can be a little bit more careless when you're wearing mattes. So I sort of prefer mattes. From my years and years of reviewing makeup, um, I find that if a product is good or bad, it always comes down to two things. One, your personal preference, and two, your skin type or your skin chemistry. Now I have oily skin and my lips generally are pretty good. I wear a lip balm at night just so I don't wake up feeling a little bit tight on my lips, but I generally don't need to apply or reapply a lip balm during the day. I can wear a matte lipstick, matte liquid lipstick all day long and maybe feel a little bit dry by the end of the day, but then I have my shower, I put my lip balm on, I go to bed and it's fine. The only times I really get any dryness might be weather related or dehydration related. And I feel like the dryness that I experience on my lips is probably the equivalent to like normal or well hydrated lips for people with dry skin and dry lips. So the oily factor, means that one benefit is I have fairly comfortable lips all year round. So if you have problems with like dry flaky lips and you find that lipsticks just make that worse or sometimes, and this might also, this, look it can be age related, it can be dryness related. If you have like the little fine lines that may be caused by dryness um, and you find that your lip product sort of feathers out of the lip line and you really need to use a lip liner to keep it in, um, this might be great for you. Like it might be your saving grace, but I don't have those issues. So for me, I found that this was just another layer of product that stopped the lip product adhering well to my lips, which sounds counterintuitive. You think a primer should help longevity, help products wear well, help products sit well. But again, if you have lip issues, this might be like a godsend for you. But for me, like a traditional lipstick formula sits better on my natural lips. It is what it is. That also might be a reason why lip products are my favorite makeup category um, because they just work so well on me in general. You might also be thinking, Kat, this never claims to prolong the wear of lipstick. Um, if we go back and look at the claims on the MAC website and the Mecca website, it's mainly hydrating, preventing feathering, and retexturizing. So it's more about making it um, smoother, I guess more plump, moisturized, and stopping that feathering. I also want to correct myself from the start of this video where I said on the MAC website it doesn't mention feathering. Um, when it's just like the little brief uh, description, it does say prevents feathering. So that is one of the claims of this. The main reason I have also been thinking about longevity and wanting it to add to longevity is because there's so many rave reviews online and a lot of them 
talk about longevity. So according to the Mecca website, which I'm going to the Mecca website because they actually um, take their reviews and the Mac website reviews and sort of put them all in one place. So there's 343 reviews at the moment of this product. 246 of those give it a five star, 48 give it a four star, 13 give it a three star, 12 give it a two star, and 24 give it a one star. They're probably the people that naturally have quite plump and uh, moist lips. In so many of these reviews, they mention that it adds to longevity. So Mrs. John is saying that it extends the wear of lipsticks and stops any dry patches or flakes. She's just ordered two more. Corky Pom Pom said, it really helps the longevity of my lip color, especially when I wear my deep red shades. Makeup Fanatic 91 said, overall, I am pretty happy. Keeps your lipstick on for longer and matte like. I didn't experience that at all. But again, I feel like if you have dry lips, this might be a great product. And the reason why I think it actually will work better than a traditional lip balm is because it is so thin and it doesn't have a glossy high shine finish. Not all lip balms have a quite a high shine glossy finish, but this compared to most lip balms I've tried actually looks almost natural or semi matte on the lips. So it is a lip balm that I think if you don't like a heavier, sort of gluggier, shinier lip balm, this would be a great option. I think unisex, I think people that want very, very no makeup makeup will love this. It adds some hydration, but without that sort of heaviness. But I think that also helps act as a base because if you do have a more shiny, thicker, lip balm it's just gonna make things slide off a lot quicker and this just adds like instant moisture and sort of plumpness without that heavy feel and i feel like when um you're layering products the thinner the layers the better which is why i think this would work really well on some people as lip primer just unfortunately for me um, i think i'm going to reach for this as a lip balm um, because i yeah i just find lip products of all types tend to wear better on me without the primer. So that's my review. I'm glad I tried it. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments that are saying that they love this or this sounds right up their alley, like it's something that they should try and give it a try. It might totally be a game changer when it comes to your how your lipstick wears or how it feels. Maybe people who shy away from any slightly drier lipsticks, whether it be a semi-matte or a matte or whatever, um, you might find that you can actually wear them with this. So maybe give it a try. I would probably say first try like a really basic lip balm, like a Nivea lip balm or something without too much shine, blot it down a lot, apply your lip products over the top and see if that works for you. Because if it does and you like the effect, you might want to invest in this. But I do think for what it is, it's pretty pricey. So that's just, that's just my impression. But again, I didn't see magical results. If I saw magical results, I would probably buy 10 of these. All right, that's it for this review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.